everyone, myself Sai Prasad, Alex and Ahlabad High School and the Junior College. Welcome to the series of the lectures of Intermediate First Year Maths A. We have started the chapter that is Inverse Trigonometric Functions. We have solved few problems in our first session and second session. Today, let us solve few more problems based on the formulas and uh, other problems which are not based on the formulas also. Okay, shall we do? Now see here. If cos inverse p by a plus cos inverse q by b is equal to alpha, then prove that b square by a square minus 2 pq by a b cos alpha plus q square by b square equals sin square alpha. Right? Uh, how to solve it? You know that we have to solve this side. Yes or no? Which means here the formula is given as cos inverse x plus cos inverse x. Do we know the formula? Yes, we know. Either we can simplify by using the formula or else we can directly write it. Fine. What is the formula we know? Cos inverse x plus cos inverse y is cos inverse of x y minus under root of 1 minus x square into under root of 1 minus y square. Fine. Shall we use the formula? Let us do that. Cos inverse x plus cos inverse y is equal to cos inverse x y minus x in I mean 1 minus x square 1 minus y square. Is it clear? Now let us simplify it by using this formula that is cos inverse p by a plus cos inverse q by b is equal to alpha. What it will become? That will be cos inverse of x y p by a q by b minus under root of 1 minus p square by a square under root of 1 minus q square by b square that is equal to alpha. Okay. Let us send this cos that side that will become cos alpha, right? Then the left side will be p q by a b minus under root 1 minus p square by q square under root 1 minus q square by b square that is equal to cos alpha. Is it clear? Now what is that we have to do? Here there are p square by a square in all such kind of terms. Shall we multiply or else shall we send this side and square on both sides? Shall we do? Let us do that or else let us send this that side and cos alpha this side. What it will become? P q by a b minus cos alpha is equal to under root 1 minus p square by q square under root 1 minus q square by b square. Let us square on both sides. Okay. This will become a minus b whole square that is nothing but p q by a b whole square plus cos square alpha minus 2 p q by a b cos alpha. Right? If we square it, this both square roots will get cancelled. What is that we are going to get? 1 minus p square by q square into 1 minus q square by b square. Is it right? That is what, uh, sorry, this is p square by a square. Do not get confused. That is why I told you before itself. Clear? Fine. Now let us multiply and simplify on both the sides. What we will get? Let us check. Here p square q square by a square b square, p square q square by a square b square plus cos square alpha minus 2 p q by a b cos alpha is equal to let us multiply each and every term. 1 into 1 is 1. Now see here minus q square by b square. minus p square by a square minus into minus plus p square q square by a square b square. Is it right? Fine. Now check here p square q square by a square b square p square q square by a square b square. Both are getting cancelled. Let us bring this these two terms this side that will become p square by a square plus q square by b square minus 2 p q by a b into cos alpha that equal to 1 minus this cos square will go that side that will become minus cos square right. Now let us write everything whatever there is in the question p square by a square that is there and the second term is minus 2 p q by a b into cos alpha plus q square by b square is equal to 1 minus cos square is sin square alpha. Did you understand? Isn't not easy? 
there is also 4 marks question ka important question. Shall we look into the one question once more? Now see here. The question given here it is cos inverse p by a plus cos inverse q by b equal to alpha. He is asking us to prove that p square by a square minus 2 p q by a b cos alpha plus q square by b square equal to sin square alpha. That is I know the formula of cos inverse x plus cos inverse y. Now I will use the formula of this. I will directly simplify it. This cos inverse will go there to get cos alpha. Here we will multiply it and then square on both sides and after see a proper simplification we will get the answer. Is it clear? Did you understand? Shall we move on to the next problem? Let us do. The next question given here it is he gave cos inverse p plus cos inverse q plus cos inverse r equal to pi then he is asking us to prove that p square plus q square plus r square plus 2 p q r is equal to 1. Right? We can solve in different different ways the problem which we did that is tan inverse x plus tan inverse y plus tan inverse z ka formula. Right? Uh, in that we have taken the first two terms and then next after simplifying we have taken the third term. Similarly here also we can do the same thing or else we can even take it as a plus b plus c is equal to pi anything is okay. Fine. Let cos inverse p as a cos inverse q as b cos inverse r as c. Let us substitute it a plus b plus c is equal to pi a plus b is equal to pi minus c. Okay. Since everything is in terms of cos let us apply cos on both sides that will become cos of a plus b is equal to cos of 180 minus theta. What is cos of a plus b? Cos a cos b minus sin a sin b. Cos of pi minus c what is it? Cos of pi minus c is minus cos c that is in second quadrant. If you observe here cos inverse p is a right <coughs> from that we write it as cos a equal to p cos b equal to q cos c equal to r right. If cos a is p what about the value of sin a? sin a is under root 1 minus p square, sin b is under root 1 minus q square, sin c is under root 1 minus r square. Right? Do not get confused. Let us substitute here and simplify. What is cos a now tell me? Cos a is p, cos b is q minus sin a is under root 1 minus p square, sin b is under root 1 minus q square minus cos c. What is cos c? r. Is it clear? Let us bring this r this side. Let us take these two terms that side and simplify that side. Here it will be p q plus r is equal to under root 1 minus p square under root 1 minus q square. Let us square on both sides. This will become p q plus r whole square and this will be 1 minus p square into 1 minus q square. <coughs> Fine. Let us simplify p q plus r whole square that is a square plus b square plus 2 a b. This is q. Right side 1 minus p square 1 minus q square. Let us uh, multiply one after the other. 1 into 1 is 1, 1 q square, p square into 1 minus into minus plus p square q square plus p square q square. Is it clear? Let us simplify again. p square q square plus r square plus 2 p q r is equal to 1 minus q square minus p square plus p square q square. Let us bring everything to left hand side. That will be p square q square plus r square plus 2 p q r plus q square plus p square minus p square q square is equal to 1. If you observe here these both terms will get cancelled. That is what he asked us to prove right. What is it? p square plus q square plus r square plus 2 p q r is equal to 1. This is what he asked us to prove. Clear? Shall we look into the sum once again? The question given here it is cos inverse p plus cos inverse q plus cos inverse r equal to pi. 
right? We have already tried the formula of cos inverse x plus cos inverse y. We used it, but we don't know. Uh, I mean, it doesn't mean we don't know. The simplification is getting complex. That's why I have taken this as a, this as b, and this as c. Therefore, a plus b plus c is equal to pi. A plus b equal to pi minus c. Since everything is in terms of cos, I have applied cos on both sides. This is cos of a plus b equal to cos of pi minus c. Clear? Cos of pi minus c is minus cos c. Cos of a plus b is cos a cos b minus sin a sin b. I have substituted the value of all these things. I have squared on both sides. Then, after simplification, I got the thing which he asking us to prove. Is it clear? Shall we move on to the next problem? Let's do. The next question given here it is sin inverse x plus sin inverse y plus sin inverse z is equal to pi. Then he is asking us to prove x into 100 of 1 minus x square, y into 100 of 1 minus y square plus z into 100 of 1 minus z square that is equal to 2xyz. Right? Now what to do? The same thing. Let us assume this to be a, b and c and simplify. See here this is let sin inverse x is equal to a sin inverse y is equal to b sin inverse z is equal to c is it clear now let us substitute here what it will become or else first write here sin a is x sin b is y sin c is z is it clear and what is the next thing from this we can write it as cos a as under root 1 minus x square cos b as under root 1 minus y square cos c as under root 1 minus z square. Let us take this LHS now. What is given there? x into under root 1 minus x square y into under root of 1 minus y square z into under root of 1 minus z square. Isn't it? Now tell me what is x? x is sin a. What is 1 minus x square under root? Cos a. What is y? Sin b. What is 1 minus y square under root? Cos b. Plus what is z? Sin c. What is this? 1 minus z square under root is cos c. Right? Have you seen this kind of uh, thing anywhere? We have seen in our uh, transformation chapter. Right? Before going to this, once again you have to remember is, if this is a, this is b, this is c. What it will become? That will be a plus b plus c is equal to pi. That's why I didn't write there. Right? If a, b, c are angles of triangle, then the sum of angles is equal to 180. Right? In the transformation thing, we used to do like this only. Right? Yes. Uh, by using this condition and this thing, how do we simplify? Here it is sin a cos a, sin b cos b, sin c cos c. Right? Shall we multiply and divide by 2? Let's do right. Multiply 2 for all the terms plus 2 sin b cos b plus 2 sin c cos c. Now tell me what is this 2 sin a cos a? Sin 2a. 2 sin b cos b? Sin 2b. 2 sin c cos c? Sin 2c. Isn't it? Do you know the direct uh, formula for sin 2a plus sin 2b plus sin 2c? Most of the people they may remember because this is the first question which we did in the transformation. That is nothing but 4 sin a sin b sin c. 4 sin a sin b sin c. 2 1s are 2 twos are. That is nothing but 2 sin a sin b sin c. What is sin a here? Sin a is x. Sin b is y. Sin c is z. That is the thing, right? Yes or no? Clear? Once again, let us see here. Sin inverse x plus sin inverse y plus sin inverse z equal to pi. He is asking us to prove that x into 100 of 1 minus x square, y into 100 of 1 minus y square, z into 100 of 1 minus z square is 2xyz. Clear? In order to do that, we have assumed this as a, this as b and this as c. Therefore, this will become a plus b plus c is equal to pi. It clearly tells that these three angles or these three trigonometric ratios uh, adding up to become what? Uh, to become angles of a triangle, right? That will become uh, by taking LHS, 
I have directly substituted the value of x is cos a, I sin a, 1 minus x square under root is cos a like that. We got is sin 2a plus sin 2b plus sin 2c, right. In our transformations, if a, b, c are the angles of a triangle, then this will be equal to 4 sin a sin b sin c. Is it clear? Without knowing this, can we do this? If you want to simplify, you can simplify again sin c plus sin d formula again you can put here, you can do the whole 7 marks problem again, there is no concern, right. That is why I told you to remember at least one or two things, clear? Fine, uh, let us move on to the next problem. See here the question is very simple to understand. He gave 3 sin inverse 2 x by 1 plus x square minus 4 cos inverse 1 minus x square by 1 plus x square plus 2 tan inverse 2 x by 1 minus x square, right that is equal to pi by 3. The people who know the formula, they can easily identify what to do in this, right. If you observe, here there is the form of 2 tan theta by 1 plus tan square theta, that is sin 2 theta, we can cancel sin, is not it? Here also 1 minus tan square by 1 plus tan square, that is nothing but our cos 2 theta. Here we can cos, uh, cancel cos, is not it? Here also 2 tan theta by 1 minus tan square theta. Is it clear? Did you understand now what to do for the first step? That is put x is equal to tan theta. Fine. Let us substitute what it will become. Let us see. 3 sin inverse 2 tan theta by 1 plus tan square theta minus 4 cos is inverse. 1 minus tan square theta by 1 plus tan square theta plus 2 tan inverse 2 tan theta by 1 minus tan square theta. If you observe here, what is this? There is a formula of yes sin 2 theta minus 4 cos inverse of what is this again? cos 2 theta plus 2 tan inverse, this is tan 2 theta. If you observe sin, sin, cos, cos, tan, tan got cancelled. Then what is left here? 3 into 2 theta minus 4 into 2 theta plus 2 into 2 theta. That is nothing but 3 to the 6 theta minus 4 to the 8 theta, 2 to the 4 theta. We observe here 6 plus 4 is 10, 10 minus 8 is, now see here 2 theta, what is this? This is on the left hand side, this whole thing we have simplified it as 2 theta and that is equal to pi by 3, therefore theta is nothing but pi by 6. If I substitute it here, I will get the value of x, x is equal to tan theta, therefore x is equal to tan pi by 6 which is 1 by root 3. Did you understand? Once again see here, he is asking us to solve. Solve 3 sin inverse 2x by 1 plus x square minus 4 cos inverse 1 minus x square by 1 plus x square plus 2 tan inverse of 2x minus 1 by x square is equal to pi by 3, which means we have to find the value of x. Clear? What did, what did we do? We have substituted x is equal to tan theta, this will be sin 2 theta, cos 2 theta and tan 2 theta. Clear? After simplifying it, I got the whole thing as 2 theta, which is nothing but pi by 3 as they gave. Therefore, theta will be pi by 6. If I directly substitute in this, I will get the value of x as 1 by root 3. Did you understand? Fine. This is inverse trigonometric function. We are, what did we do? We have started with the basic definitions of inverse function, right? And the next uh, we have discussed about the different formula of uh, inverse function, right? And after that we have solved a few problems of uh, sin inverse, cos inverse and kind of thing, right. After that we have started the proving the problems, that is when they gave 3, 3 ratios and different, different problems we have solved in this chapter, fine. By this we have entered the chapter inverse trigonometric function, fine. Let us meet in the next session with a new chapter of trigonometry, fine, thank you.